perform our density test. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at the equipment that we need in order to perform that test. The first thing that we need is going to be a graduated cylinder. The graduated cylinder is 1000 milliliters with 10 milliliter graduations. In that cylinder we currently have 700 milliliters of water in there. Uh, we also need a scale. The scale is what we're going to use to weigh the sample. Uh, it needs to be able to weigh in the tenth of a gram. We also have a calculator. We'll perform our calculations on that and then there's a scrap piece of paper that we'll use to jot down our numbers. Uh, we have our sample of foam as well as the knife that we'll use to trim it to size. Now the sample that we have here is too large. It will not fit into the graduated cylinder. So we're going to need to cut that down to size. Now with this sample, uh, this material has actually had the top and bottom skins removed, but if you look at it, there still is a knit line in between. So essentially there's two passes that were uh, sprayed in order to achieve this sample, but again the top and bottom skins have already been removed. So we just need to cut the sample to size in order to get it to fit into the graduated cylinder. And I'm just going to knock a little bit of the corner off just so that it'll fit into the cylinder. Now we just want to verify that that's going to fit into the cylinder without any resistance. And there's still a little bit of too much material down at the bottom here, so I'm just going to take a tiny bit more off of there. We're good to go. That does fit into the cylinder. Okay, so I'm just going to turn on our scale now so that we can weigh the sample. Now the big thing to remember is with these samples, they need to be a minimum of 6 grams under the standard. Uh, so we'll just wait for the scale to zero out, and then we'll place our sample on there and get a weight. Okay, so it's zeroed out. So we'll put our sample on there and we'll see this sample weighs 11.64 grams. So we're just going to note that onto our piece of paper here. We're going to submerge the sample into our graduated cylinder. We've got 700 milliliters of water in the cylinder right now. And we need to fully submerge the sample to find out how much water it actually displaces. So when we submerge that in there, you can see that we're actually at 960 milliliters. So we'll remove our sample from the graduated cylinder. In order to calculate our density, we need to first figure out how much water was actually displaced. So we'll take the 960, we'll subtract the 700 that we started with from it, and then we'll determine that we actually had 260 milliliters of displaced water. So now that we know how much water was displaced, we can calculate our density. The first thing we need to enter in the calculator is the weight of the sample which was 11.64 grams. We will then divide that by the amount of displaced water, which was 260 milliliters, and then we'll take that figure and multiply that by 1,000. Uh, this will give us our density in kilograms per cubic meter, and in this case, that density was 44.76 kilograms per cubic meter. We can now take this one step further and convert our number to pounds per cubic foot. So we would simply take the 44.76, we would divide that number by 16, and that would tell us our density of this material is 2.79 pounds per cubic foot.